What's up everybody? I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm Anthony. On today's video, I got a really quick one for you, but I wanted to show y'all a secret weapon that I have that you can totally use to be able to win the battle against the dreaded tomato hornworm. That's right, today we are talking about one of the biggest pains in the garden every single year for people like me, especially when you grow heavy tomatoes or peppers, and that's going to be the tomato hornworm, all right? This thing is voracious, it has a humongous appetite, and if you don't walk your gardens every day, this thing can cause a whole bunch of damage in just one night. So for those of you who are not aware of what it is or what it looks like, it looks just like this. That little guy is the larval form of the five-spotted hawk moth, which looks like this. Now, unfortunately, this guy's a moth, so unless you're sitting outside all night watching your garden, it's probably going to be visiting you when you're asleep. So you're not going to be able to go out there and have a good kind of defense that way. And not a lot of birds are out there during the nighttime to prey on these guys. So the only thing you can really be hoping for is things like bats or maybe your cats might like moths or something like that. But for the most part, these things really do fly around and they can visit your garden multiple times a night. So you have to make sure you're thinking proactively. Now there are different ways to handle this. You can be doing things like companion planting, which I've done before where, you know, companion plantings where you plant something that's like got a really heavy smell to it, like basil or rosemary or something like that. So the the moth can't smell your tomato or your your, your nightshade plant because it's all it really is, is everything in the nightshade family, peppers, tomatoes, things like that. So it won't smell that tomato and it'll go somewhere else. It won't even stop by your garden. But I've had mixed results doing that. One thing I have had really good results with is doing a trap crop. I learned this little tidbit by accident because I put down one tobacco plant this year because I wanted to try my hand at growing tobacco. Tobacco is a part of the nightshade family. And one thing that I learned very quickly is if there's a choice between your tomatoes, peppers, and tobacco, the hornworm will pick the tobacco every single time. Now, good news for me, because I don't smoke, and I'm not trying to grow this for smokable tobacco. I basically grew it to see if I could grow it just in case I needed it for later on. And uh, the one thing that I definitely noticed is every single night I was getting visited by this moth because the next day I would have to go out there and pick off these hornworms. They were all going to the tobacco plant. Yeah, by growing tobacco that turned into a trap crop and made all the moths go there so it spared my tomatoes but i can't say it's going to happen every single time for y'all because i know a lot of places in the continental united states cannot grow tobacco it grows very well down here in the southeast but i know for for a fact it doesn't grow very well in the pacific northwest maybe even in the western side of the united states so it comes down to it you need a good amount of humidity to be able to grow tobacco and i can't sit there and tell y'all on this channel hey this is what you need to do you need to grow tobacco because not everybody can do that but there is one thing that you can use to help Help you in your battle against the tomato hornworm and it's this guy right here so you're thinking uh okay it's just a flashlight i get it you want to go outside with a flashlight and play you know dance party no this isn't just a flashlight this is a handheld 365 nanometer uv light for lack of a better word it's giant black light all right basically the whole purpose of having this is you're shining the black light on your garden or on your plants at nighttime because the tomato hornworm fluoresces in the dark and in a black light. Now everybody who's done play this little game where you go out there and inspect your garden every single day, you're gonna miss a few because they blend in so well. They're green on a green plant. Well, if you use this at nighttime, they're no longer green. They're a vibrant blue. The camera even was able to pick it up. This is what it looks like. Now these guys can be difficult to find in the daytime because they're green and they're on green plants, but when you use a black light like this, look at them. Look at them just jump out at you. It's incredible. And the, the camera doesn't even do it justice. If you actually look at it in real life, you can see a much more vibrant blue color that they get. So you can see them glowing across the entire garden. They're easy to find with this thing. There you have it. That is my secret weapon to be able to make sure that my plants are not being destroyed by the tomato hornworm in one day or overnight, that kind of thing, because all I gotta do is walk out nightly with this bad boy and shine it over the leaves and these things will pop out pretty regularly, all right? I can pretty much see very well, hey, these things are shining bright at me, gotta look over here, gotta look over there. It even uh, fluoresces the, the, the saliva so you can tell where they've been chewing 
which is crazy to me. But yeah, you can see all that good stuff in detail if you just look underneath your leaves with this guy. So again, this is a 365 nanometer UV light, long wave UV light. I will put a link down below. It may be a pinned comment or in the description so you can check it out. Don't worry, it's not gonna be an affiliate link, but uh, this seems to cost like 12 bucks. Not very much. I got them in a two pack for like 20 bucks. So uh, it's a very good buy. I'm able to use it for a, a myriad of other things besides this. But one of the, uh, the positive uses that I noticed I could find was when I went out to the garden with this just to see what would happen. Boom, those guys were shining bright. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with y'all because I know that there's a whole bunch of people out there who dread these guys, who have them visit their garden every single summer and they can do quite a bit of damage. So hopefully by being, telling you this little secret right here, you're able to win your battle. So if you liked anything from this video, if you learned anything at all, please do me a humongous favor and give this video a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't and I will catch y'all in the next one, all right? Bye.